Hi there, how are you doing? It's been a while, I know. Uh, I'm working on a new project and it's to get in these and clean them because <laughs> they're getting old. Uh, I brought a load of test discs, so this is a test disc. And this is my second take at this because I found out the method I was using was absolute pants. So yeah, I've tried to look for um, 3.5 floppy instructions on how to get in these, but they're all very destructive on YouTube and on the internet. No one's really seen how to get into them. I've literally found one video on how these were made in a factory and there's nothing else. And I've just been looking at it and uh, studying it closely on what goes where and how it's put on and slowing it down and <coughs> trying to get get the best um, idea of reverse engineering it. So the idea is, is trying to get this off without bending it, just to put it back on. Uh, with it bent it's going to get stuck in your drive plus you know if you want to keep your floppies original you, you know your game floppies and anything that I do in future I want it you know the way it was so anyway now what I'm doing is I'm holding it this way around and I'm pinching it here as hard as I can and I'm moving this up if I can. <laughs> so pinching there, pushing up that way. So it's got to get over that bar. It uh, takes a little bit of doing. It's almost got to slide it across slightly so it sits on the bit that you're pressing. This is the hard work. I mean, you're not you're not destroying the disc. There you go. You're not destroying a disc, you're not really hitting it of anything, you know, you just... So basically, you get it to that stage. Again, not, try, try, not trying to put your fingers on a disc. Um, so now you just pull it, and you're sliding it out this way, and then this eventually locates and stops, and that's it, you just pull it. Now, if you lose a spring which I normally do. This is the other thing. Where the hell does a spring go? Now, I noticed there's a little ramp section right there. and I've taken discs apart. Again, I've seen how the, it works, and the machine literally flicks a spring in. You can't see it on the video. Um, it doesn't matter which way round this goes, but it does sit inside there, like that. Right in the corner. And I thought it was held in with something. I can't really see. But it sits there like that in a corner. Come on, focus. And all it does is the machine, it, it just puts it in this ramp section here. So it just literally flings it in really fast. It doesn't snap into anything. So you just put it in that edge. And all you're doing is you're pushing it in and leaving it like that. So when you when you put this back on, there's a tiny little tiny little foot there. It snaps into that. So I'll show you, I'll go and push it on. Again, I'm looking for this slope. There's a there's a mini ramp there. So it's almost where the machine puts it on in a factory. You slide it over. Come on. That's it, just so it locates on that spring and just keep pushing, push it over. It should locate. Let's just do that again. So bring that on. That's got to go in that groove. And there's, like I say, there's a mini ramp there. It's just about there. You'll see it. So that's snapped on now. And all you do, keep pushing. Keep pushing. Make sure that spring goes under. It's just over there. So 
just pull it back a bit, push the spring down. He's a bit fiddly. That's it, spring goes over. Just make sure it's fully forward and just keep pushing. That should be it. There you go. I mean, I've literally just cracked it. It's taken days and weeks and I've been into loads of crappy discs, but that's the best I can get it. Um, and a, a gentleman I was speaking to on the Grease Weasel Facebook page said it's better to go in this side of discs if you want to take the whole thing out and clean it or swap the media over. The idea is, is the original games I want to restore off of original archives. If there's like a ripped IPF, I'll write it back to a new magnetic media inside for people. So there's like an original game, no cracks, and I'll just write it back to the disc, put the disc back together. There's two tabs inside you break, so I'm, that's the next thing I'm going to show you. So it's easier to get in this side because you don't want to destroy the original disc label. Again, you want to try and keep games as original as I can. That's the other idea behind getting this perfect. So again, just flip it over, squeeze it there, push up. So again, you're just kind of moving it up. There you go. So as you're squeezing it, you're kind of moving it towards where you're squeezing. So it comes out and sits on that lip just above it. And then this, this one should just pull out over that ramp. There you go. So now, to get inside the floppy, all I do... Again, minor disc because it's literally right there. Look, this looks a bit destructive. There you go. That one snapped open. Again, I would just put a tiny bit of epoxy in there or super glue. And that's it. That that's the easiest way you can get into them. Up that side, the, the tabs are so much bigger and I've had them pulling out of the disc, ripping the disc back in. And again, you want to keep it as original, original as you can. You want that label intact. So literally, you would just open the front now. Obviously, do this on a bit of microfiber. And there she is. Um, when you're cleaning these, <clears throat> they can detach from a donut. And all you would do is you put a, a tiny bit of epoxy around it. I found super glue really destroys a disc and it starts um, finding its way along the, the, out, uh, the inner side of the disc to the outer. And sometimes it gets to the part where the heads read. So I'm finding a very tiny bit of epoxy around the edge before the disc goes on. Um, is good. The only other thing with that. Is you're gonna I think you need to start micro step stepping discs to write back to it uh, to sorry I got that wrong <clears throat> if you put an original disc back on its hub if it's fell off after cleaning um, this will never ever be centered on the hub and apparently you need to micro step pull the data off the drive uh, off the disc and put it back on now that's beyond me at the moment um so i'm literally just going to stick to just replacing these i bought a load of floppies and i'll just pull these out of the, the good ones um write the data from an ipf if the data can't be recovered after this has been cleaned um <laughs> Yeah, again, hopefully, <laughs> if this if this does start delaminating, normally when it gets halfway there, I'll epoxy it one side, even if it's not clean fully, I'll leave it and I'll leave it to dry. Because, again, you don't want this getting off centre because when the drive reads it after you've glued it back on, 
it would never ever be fully centered um that's still something i'm going to work on maybe someone can give me advice in the comments at the bottom but yeah i'm getting there i mean i've literally had the grease weasel for about two weeks so I'm, I'm doing all right i've had a lot of help and again thanks to everyone on the uh, grease weasel page so let's just put it back in obviously you won't be handling it with your fingers i've got a couple of tongs someone's 3d printed me so i'll be doing that putting them in with tongs um I'll put it the right way up yeah obviously this disc is going to go in a bin i just want to show you but again um spring goes in there obviously you would glue these two tabs shut first well i'd test the disc first just like this it, it, it's enough to go in a drive that's not going anywhere because that holds there's a tiny little outer that on there that holds the disc on the hub so i would test the disc first before i even put all this back together just make sure it's reading fine so again turn it over spring just just slides in up on that ramp just sits in there pushes in and then all you do with this on that ramp push it in bring it across just make sure that springs there Again, it's going to take you a few goes. That's it. See, it springs going in. So about there, the spring locates. So you level with that notch. Just make sure it's like push right forward and bring that across. And there you go. I've not seen any video that explains how to do that and I don't know I think I've figured out the best way again correct me if I'm wrong but I've just put um, data together from YouTube the factory process and a couple of things what people have said on, on Facebook and um, I think I've cracked it it's probably the best way to go about it so yeah, thanks. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I've waffled a bit, but it's always <laughs> the boring stuff <coughs> that gets you around problems. And it's almost like a, a little college course. So yeah, enjoy. Hopefully it helps someone. It's helped me. Thanks a lot. Have a good 2022.